Hello, well, uh, I've uh, been cleaning this record by Yes called Close to the Edge. It's a wonderful album, uh, but um, this record I bought secondhand was in really poor um, condition due to uh, the amount of dirt and dust and uh, grease that was on it. Um, so just playing like the first track on side two on my previous one of my previous videos I, I, the actual harmonic guitar playing at the beginning of of the the, the song was well it was so muffled uh, you couldn't really pick out what was going on and then when it went into the actual the rhythm guitar playing couldn't really follow the rhythm at all with that it was just so distorted and then when the bass came in, it was just uh, so much distortion uh, because of the actual dirt and, and uh, dust that was within the groove. So I've cleaned it using uh, the Luar Tucson record cleaning liquid and uh, with my Oki Noki. Now, um, when I had this uh, record drying in the rack, uh, I was a little bit worried because... I played this record last night and it left uh, so much dirt on my stylus. I thought, well, with this particular record, I'm going to clean it twice. So I repeated the cleaning process a second time. So both sides have had uh, the uh, gone through the cleaning uh, twice. And that's something I, I do with some records that are in uh, poor uh, condition or like this, where there's a lot of dirt and visible dust and and uh, grease marks on the record so anyway let's uh, i'm going to play the record now and hopefully we can hear an improvement i'm expecting that um, the, a lot of the clicks and the pops will still be there because my my um i suspect then that there, there's a, some groove damage on the record and no amount of cleaning is going to resolve that but uh, I, I am expecting the clicks and the pops to be greatly reduced. Um, but more importantly, I want to hear that harmonic guitar playing those notes to be clear and to ring truly. And uh, then I want to hear the rhythm guitar uh, and the actual rhythm clearly. And then the bass should also be uh, very well controlled and accurate as well because the, uh, the record's being cleaned. Now then, let's, uh, let's have a listen. turning the camera now right okay well 
some conclusions I can draw from that. Yeah, uh, a huge improvement, I think. I can hear it, the improvement clearly. Uh, the amount, amount of crackles and pops have been greatly reduced, which is what uh, I was hoping to achieve. The harmonic guitar playing at the beginning of the song was absolutely clear uh, and uh, the actual notes uh, were ringing very, very truly, very accurately. Uh, the rhythm guitar when that came in was very clear uh, and is easy to follow the rhythmical pattern and when the bass came in that was also uh, uh, come to be as controlled as, I, as I, I've I come to expect. Um, that, uh, I thought the bass sounded really good indeed. Uh, so, yeah, I think that was um, uh, a, a successful exercise, really, cleaning the record. So, that record has been put here, will be put in a brand new. Um, uh, anti-static record sleeve and it will also oh I did have one year somewhere I, I did also the actual uh, album itself we, we put in uh, one of these thick outer sleeves as well to uh, protect the cover and to to help uh, stop the, the dust get in into the uh, record as well so yeah, thanks for watching the video. I, I, that was uh, really pleased with the outcome of that. So uh, yeah, it was interesting doing that exercise. Yeah, thanks again. Bye bye.